month 12 in the calendar of the eternal month 3 day 19 of 2022 it has been made known to me that there is a forsake spirit within the movement of those in the camps in the mountains i have been made aware of situations that are prevalent in this and this are not operations coming from god but are of satanic origin to those divide discourage destroy and pervert the camps these are the anointed firstborn or priests to many this has gone to their heads and they set aside the requirements of God. Truth is not their companion, and justice fled from them, putting in the place of love a cruel indifference. They dishonor their parents. They omit their wisdom. They discredit everyone around them, for only their word should prevail. They think that preparations for the Lord's Supper can only be made by them and for the other feasts. They make plans, and if the people in their group do not fulfill them, they are labeled as bad Christians. This who command but do not go are in the camp and are being unfaithful stewards. Many of them also command and go, but they are still unfaithful stewards because they do not have the love of God in their hearts and they are cruel to the person whom the Lord has raised up as steward of that place. To those who believe that because they are anointed and leaders Everyone should support them while they only talk about God without actions. I was referred to tell them to read Acts chapter 18, verse 1 to 4, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 9. Whoever is burdensome to his neighbor, it will be reckoned to him in judgment. I was let to know. There is a same time, a same Father, who gave us gifts which placed in his hands submissive only to him, this become ministries, and this, not referring to the preaching of the word, bears good fruit with the work of his hands, as we see in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 19 to 21. I was led to remember the parable of the talents and to pay close attention to Matthew chapter 25, verse 14 to 30. Whoever believes that because he is firstborn, head of the family, camp leader, who more than leader is a camp steward, was let me know, and because of this makes his own criteria, his own will, and twist the commandments of the eternal and the commands of the eternal in his life and in the lives of others will be guilty of judgment. The camps are places of refuge in the mountains where the eternal helps his children to raise arcs for the salvation of his children in what is coming. And they are not out of the sight of the eternal, I was let known, but are of his special interest, and many of this sadden his heart with wars, dissensions, one living off the other, opening the word as a game of chance for their decision-making. They are deceived and deceive others. Cavillings, talkings, thoughts, all this is passing review before the eternal. I was referred to many indolent women that any hurt 
affliction, fatigue, stops them from their duty. And they do not see that by fulfilling the same, the hurt with the power of God will disappear. I was given permission to speak a little of my daily life, the eternal already knowing that I do not like this. It was indicated to me what was necessary of the same. So fulfilling the command of the eternal, I share with you. My days begin very early in the morning in thanksgiving to God, writing, meditating, and asking for the decision of the eternal. Then, continue in the chores of the home and quickly to the fields with all that this entails, agriculture, mixing the soil, transportation, making the servant's bed, sowing, irrigation, in short, everything that agriculture entails. From the easy to the difficult, and heavy. I also work in construction where I am the right hand of my beloved husband, from combining cement to carrying blocks, lumber, making cuts, etc. Everything related to it. I get to help put up greenhouses and cut trees for it. Having food and water in time to have strength and vigor. In these heavy jobs. Running for days and weeks in aid of other camps that are forming to help the sick, providing them with natural medicine, to cry to the eternal to provide help to the helpless, transmit the word of the eternal in the face of the difficulty of internet in the world prevailing because of the changes of control attending to household chores, trimming the grass in cleanliness around the home, church, and roads, road repairs in conjunction with the camp for better vehicular traffic, etc. This, to put a few things, I am a thin woman with weak health, but in all these tasks, the Eternal is with me, and I do not avoid any of them. Many can attest to this. I do not limit myself to pencil and paper as many believe. I live praying to the eternal to help and enable me to be able to help others in whatever is needed. When evening comes, my whole body is tired, but my soul is happy for having accomplished the daily work. Many will think Sister Daisy lives in prayer and fasting and she writes and records just that. And yes, it is true that my mind is in continual prayer before the eternal and I fast every week. I frequently write and record the words of the eternal. But I do not stop the other labors aforesaid. Why do I tell you this? It is not my pleasure to say it, but the Lord has dictated me to do it. Because there are many who are robbing God the time, who live on the efforts of others, who are burdensome to their own neighbor. They believe that in the name of God, they should manage or acquire the earnings of others who forge them. To those, God gave the opportunity. The gift to acquire a piece of land is because it pleased the Eternal to give him that economy because he walked under his requirements and he is the steward of that place and no mortal can or has the right to usurp such a God-given legacy. Can a woman or someone who is not a firstborn or a priest be the steward of that God-given gift? The answer is yes. God comforts his gifts on those who follow and obey him, to those who desire to do his will, to those who believe him and advance in him, though 
the heavens fall. That leadership is placed by God and is not replaceable by any human unless the eternal so stipulates under his eternal wisdom. Can a helper be added to this person chosen by God to be his strength in this cause? The answer is yes, but this help can never usurp the stewardship of the person upon whom heaven has bestowed the gift and stewardship of that place. Many who impose or wish to be leaders of a camp could have been according to the parameters of the eternal, but they wasted their time and resources in what they did not take advantage of. And today, they are part of a camp instead of having been pioneers themselves in the hands of the eternal, in the formation of a camp. Their own decisions hindered this. Now, being in a camp, where the pioneer who surrendered himself to God's will took him in, they fight with him in a leading position instead of being his helping hand and being directed by God. Will not this usurpation be seen by the eternal and will not the eternal take this case into his hands for judgment? This one, the usurper, will bring war and dissensions and cause the sheep of the flock to be scattered. He will bring sorrow and great distress to the real steward before God, and with his own life he will be accountable to the eternal for such a wrong. Many think that since the eternal, because of his mercy, does not act quickly, he will let the offense, that deviation, rebellion pass, but this is not so. While it is true that the Eternal desires only the good for his children and his mercy goes beyond that of humans, this is so because he desires our salvation. While it is so, he will not pass for innocent the guilty, and everyone who does not amend his life before him will be a stumbling block in his life and in the lives of others and he will certainly have to give an account before the Eternal. Those who in the camps see this and take flag or position under the one who is the usurper will bring the same consequence of the usurper to their house. The one whom God called and raised up to be leader of the camp is the one who freed the land and opened it to receive in the name of Jesus others. And whosoever shall reproach him shall be guilty of sin and judgment. I leave then, brothers, with you what the Eternal has let me know that I must share with his people in this hour. It is my plea and prayer that this will not fall on deaf ears. For the Eternal watches, observes the camps with special interest. And it is very sad that in the camps, which should be places from which light goes forth, all in the footsteps of the teacher. There is war and bitterness and bad testimony is their calling card. The enemy fights to destroy the camps in this hour. The question is, will we let him? Will we let one of the seven forms of falling or more of this nestle in us and discourage all who are around us? Will we let this happen? God grant that no. God grant that we fight to get this out of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. May we allow him to come in and take control of our lives to stop the struggles for power, the fights, the dissensions, the wars, because we are all children of God and we are all before him. He is taking great review of all these things. May God grant that we may understand and only submit to the will of the eternal. May the Lord bless us.